Hi, my name is Trudy, and this is your weekly angel card reading for Beacons of Angel Light. And this is for the week beginning January 23rd, 2017. Sorry that I'm a day late, guys. Um, but I was doing a lot of yard work, and I consider that to be God work. Um, you know, with bamboo and just in general. Anyway, so um, this week we have an amazing week. And it's actually leading us up to the new moon in Aquarius. It is the very first new moon of 2017. And we're totally out of that Mercury retrograde energy. As of the 27th, it's full-blown direct. Um, so about this new moon in Aquarius, it's really... Um, an energy that we've already started to feel in spite of it not being the new moon yet. Um, and so it's basically about navigating fearlessly among the things that we cannot control, right? You know, there's a bunch of things that we can't control, you know, in this lifetime, obviously. And that's what this moon is all about. It's just about trusting and being guided and being able to um, navigate among all of those energies. Now, letting go and letting God is one way of saying it, but the other thing is that when you let go, you have suddenly space for newfound notion. And so it's like, in a sense, unlearning that which you thought you knew and a relearning of a new perception room for growth so um, we're being encouraged to think bigger this is Aquarius he's like he's like light years ahead of us you know and so that's the area the energy that we're getting right now is the Aquarian energy where they're like in technology and and there's so much more advanced and we're being encouraged to think bigger think bigger broaden your horizons um, so if you're struggling with any any issues um, this new moon energy is really good to utilize to shift your perception in regard with those issues um, Aquarius is like the utmost symbol of the water and the water is relative to the depths of our emotions and by that I mean the entire planet is being phased by this Aquarian energy. So all of these deep, deep emotions are going to be surfacing. Um, and it's kind of like because he is the disruptor of what's mundane and ordinary and what we're accustomed to, it's like there is a death, in a sense, of that old consciousness and a rebirth of a new consciousness. Um, Right, so that's what I wanted to say. Oh yeah, and then on the 28th, which is Saturday, we have the Chinese New Year. And it's the year of the rooster, so I, any Chinese people out there, um, Ching Yang Kui Long, and um, Happy Chinese New Year. So if you don't know what year you were born in, you might be the year of the rooster, go ahead and you know check it out online, type in you know the year that you were born. and. Um, and see what what animal belongs to you because it's very insightful um, so this week I'm going to be using the indigo angel oracle cards and they're by Doreen Virtue and Charles Virtue so psh, psh, psh. let's see what we got now they're saying that's not it saying I'm being impatient <sighs> okay Yep, got a boatload of cards. Let's see what we got. So, you are understood. And I don't know if you can see it, because there's so much light. But basically, you're not judged. You're not, it's like the heavens, 
and the divine cosmos realized that you were between a rock and a hard spot and you're not judged for the decisions that you've made in the past. So stop judging yourself for it because you are understood, you're validated. You know, the cosmos and your higher self are aware of every single moment that you've been through and why you've made the decisions that you've made. So don't stop crucifying yourself over that. And then you got shielding. Um, and this happens to a lot of us, you know, beacons of angel light, light workers, star seeds, um, empaths, all that wonderful stuff. It's because we are shifting the consciousness and it's uncomfortable for other people. And so some people don't resonate with it. They're not ready for it. It's too much truth for them. And they, they draw out their negativity on us. And so in those moments of you know, you are an empath, you are an indigo. And in being directed those energies, you know, you can feel it in the air, you can feel it on your skin and your chakras, it's crazy. And so when you feel that, just ask the angels for protection and remove yourself from those type of scenarios going forward. Um, then we got physical outlet. So Archangel Michael wants to join us on physical exertion of energy, you know, and, and transmuting the negative into a positive by turning it into, well, a lot of times for people this would be in the bedroom, but this could also be at the gymnasium or running or just, you know, any type of physical activity, even if it's dancing. I love to dance. Um, so then we also got send love. There's someone that needs for us to send them our love specifically. So we need to be conscious of people. People do need of our love. And even if we don't want to surround ourselves with that person, we can send them love from our heart chakra to their heart chakra, like a, like a little care bear with green light emanating from your heart to theirs. Um, and then we got allow love. And this is when someone wants to share their love with us and we're kind of coming from a fearful place of disharmony, like we don't believe it, like it's not, it's not possible. And so we are being encouraged by the angels to allow the love to flow in. You know, this is a divine time and accept the love that is sent your way. Um, oh, and then we got authority. And so, this is, this is us receiving the divine light. We are, you know, receiving all of the information and people don't really want to listen to us. And it's not because they don't want to hear what we have to say. It's because of the way that we're coming about saying it. It comes off aggressive or bossy. And so it's time to tone it down and be accepting of others so that they'll be accepting of us. So that is the weekly reading, and I hope you all have a wonderful 3D week and 5D and everything else. And don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't already, and check me out on Facebook if you want an in-depth reading with me. Just get in contact. It's also Beacons of Angel Light on Facebook or Trudy Healy. So mwah, I love you all. Love yourselves and love everyone around you.